Hi, my name is Daniel Creamville with DK Contractors here in Silver Spring, Maryland. This is a presentation introducing retrofitted passive solar design. Retrofit means passive solar was part of remodeling an existing home. And this is part one of a PowerPoint series on traditional time-tested building methods and improving them with modern building science. So what is passive solar? Passive solar is harnessing the sun's energy to reduce the need for mechanical cooling and heating. It is also to in, in, it increases energy efficiency and comfort in the home by, add, by adding insulation and improving ventilation. The insulation will have to be continuous from foundation to roof and from corner to corner. Ventilation becomes a necessity when a house is better insulated and airtight. And in passive solar design, the sun helps heat homes in the winter and added insulation and roof overhangs help repel the heat in the summer. In this slide, we can see the relationship between a passive solar home and the sun. In the summer, the sun's steep angle at noon will not be able to heat the home because of roof overhangs, but in the winter, the, the sun's lower angles are able to warm the surfaces on the inside. And here we can see how the sun travels across the horizon. In the shorter winter days, the sun starts at a lower angle in the horizon and reaches a lower angle at noon. In the longer summer days, the sun starts at a higher angle in the horizon and reaches a steeper angle at noon. Passive solar is not new. Techniques of passive solar building designs were practiced for thousands of years before the advent of mechanical heating and cooling. Fully developed solar architecture and urban planning methods were first used by the Greeks and Chinese, and Roman bathhouses had large south-facing windows. Many early civilizations, architects developed techniques for retaining heat from sunlight during the winter and maximizing shade during the summer. This cliff dwelling built by the Anasazi people soaked up the sun in cold months and was covered in shade when the summer arrived. So here we're looking at the south side of a house that was built in 1966. It's a true masonry structure with bricks on the outside and center blocks on the inside. Our plan was to cut larger openings to accommodate bigger south facing windows and to improve shading by adding overhangs. Here we can see how the brick wall was cut to install the larger south-facing windows. To add insulation to the walls, we used a system called Exterior Insulation and Finishing System, short EFS. It applies directly onto the existing brick. A two-coat stucco finish applies on top of the insulation foam board. We applied a five-inch thick polystyrene foam on the exterior covering the entire house from side to side and from foundation to attic. The wall thickness increased to 14 and a half inches. So with this wall system the brick and stone moves to the interior of the house and will act as thermal mass. In passive solar design thermal mass helps retain the warmth gained in the winter and helps keep the house cool during the summer. Here is our finished house. This picture was taken on December 21st at noon, the day of the winter solstice. This is the time of the year when the sun is at the lowest point and the days are the shortest. The overhang shadows are small and the sun is able to shine directly into the interior of the house. This picture was taken on the same day, on the inside. So the sun's rays reach deep into the house. It helps create naturally warm surfaces. Sun-filled homes are healthier and more comfortable to live in. And as the days get warmer, the sun's angle becomes steeper. So that will reduce the sunlight pro that it provides and it generates less heat. This picture was taken on June 21st at noon. 
This is the longest day of the year and the sun is at the steepest angle in the sky. The overhang shadows are very long and the sun is not able to shine into the interior of the house. So what have we achieved with this remodel? We essentially reduced the energy cost for the January heating bill by 75%, adding up to a $1,100 annual savings. So I have the privilege to live in this house and look forward to the cold winter days. A cold, clear January day with the outside temperature in the 30s, the temperature will rise from 68 Fahrenheit in the morning to 75 Fahrenheit in the afternoon while the heat is turned off. So the sun will heat the house for free. And a well-insulated house does not have any cold rooms or drafts. Leaky homes are usually dry in winter because the cold air, the cold dry air constantly is leaking into the, into the interior of the house. And minimal wear and tear on the HVAC system. As we know, mechanical systems are expensive to install and to maintain. So what lessons have we learned? Our ancestors understood the importance of orientation of buildings and windows. And util uh, utilizing natural energy sources such as the sun has benefited people in the past and will play an important role in the future. Not everything from the past is good, but maybe our fast developing advanced society will benefit from looking on how things were done long ago. Today's energy is cheap and we do not concern ourselves much about turning our thermostats up or down. This may not always be the case as non-renewable resources will run dry. So modern science provides us with better insulation, ventilation, better testing equipment than our ancestors had. Our ancestors did not have advanced science. They relied on faith and time-tested traditions. I believe it is not good to totally abandon our ancestors, but to look back at some of their faiths and traditions and see how we can revive them by using modern building science. My name is Daniel Creambiel with DK Contractors here in Silver Spring, Maryland. Thanks for listening and have a great day.